Hello and welcome to Lifehacker. Today we are taking the day off. We're going to start off seeing if we can find north without a compass. We will be putting a classic arcade on your home theater. I'm going to see if I can start a fire with a can of soda and some chocolate. Putting a Super Nintendo on your iPad or other mobile device will also be repurposing board games to make them more fun and cheap. We're going to learn a simple trick for testing the doneness of your stakes. And of course, the downloads of the day. So, let's get started. It's your day off, so you decide to go for a hike. You get lost, your cell phone doesn't have reception, so you want to be able to find north so you can find your way home. Uh, you can do this actually without a compass and it's really easy. All you need is a stick or something to put in the ground. In this case, we're in the urban jungle, so we're going to be using a sledgehammer instead of a stick. All you've got to do is place it on the ground and then mark the shadow at the tip of your stick slash sledgehammer. Now you're going to wait a few minutes, uh, the sun is going to move, the shadow is going to move, and you're going to mark the second spot. You're going to draw a line between the two, stand perpendicular to it, and you will be facing north. Alright, so we've waited about 10 or 15 minutes, and uh, our shadow has indeed moved. So let's check it out. We mark the tip of this shadow, and draw a line between the two. The direction you're facing should be north. This is my neighborhood, and I can verify that that is indeed north. Everyone loves old school video games, but if your old Nintendo or Super Nintendo is broken, you can still create an authentic experience on your TV using XBMC. Here's how. XBMC is a great program for organizing your movies and TV shows for playback on your TV, but with the Advanced Launcher plugin for XBMC, you can actually use it to store and play video games, whether they're through emulators or they're just regular Windows programs. When you set it up, all you need to do is tell it where your emulators and ROMs are stored, or in the case of PC games, where the Windows EXE file is stored, and it'll do the rest. It'll even grab some nice thumbnails for you. You can then browse your library and play games right from XBMC, just like you do movies. If you own a USB gamepad, or even use an old video game controller with a cheap USB adapter, you can plot down on the couch and play your favorite games right on your TV whether they're games from the 80s, 90s, or if you have a more powerful computer, more modern generations. Head over to lifehacker.com to get the plugin. We've always heard that with a soda can and some chocolate, you can create a fire. Um, the idea is pretty simple. Basically, you take the chocolate, you polish the bottom of the soda can, uh, and then you use this shiny bottom to focus the sun's rays on some sort of kindling. So we're going to try it and see how it works. It's very important. This isn't absurd at all. We will die if this Coke can does not light a fire that we can use to attack the zombies. I just look at this and I think, there's so many better uses for chocolate, like eating it. It appears to be getting shinier. We can actually tell the difference. You tell me you can't tell if that's polishing? Maybe it's time to get the wrong angle. Give me a break! Okay, so we've polished the bottom. Uh, it looks pretty shiny. Uh, and we've got a little sunshine, which has been uh, hard to find today. Uh, if, if, if you notice, when you put this on top, you can actually see a kind of a strong light coming from the middle of there. Um, try to sort of center the, the kindling or whatever on that light. It's not a terribly strong sun, so I'm not sure it's going to work for us. Um, but you can actually see how this might work under the right circumstances. The Super Nintendo Entertainment System is easily my favorite gaming console of all time, and I've recently been able to relive some of that magic on the iPad. If you have an iPad, iPod Touch, or iPhone, you can do the same thing just by jailbreaking and installing an emulator. Here's a look at how to do it. Let's take a look at what you'll need. First, you'll need an iPad, iPod Touch, or iPhone, a Bluetooth Wiimote, and a sync cable. 
The first thing you need to do is jailbreak your iOS device. Now, there are a lot of things that change in the jailbreaking process because Apple releases new updates all the time. And so if we put those instructions in this video, they would never be up to date. So instead, go to this URL and you will be sure to get the most up-to-date instructions on the latest jailbreaking process for your iPad, iPod Touch, or iPhone. Next, you're going to need to download the SNES ADX emulator. Now you can get two versions of this from the Cydia store, one which comes with ads and won't cost you anything, and another which will cost you about three bucks and will have no ads whatsoever. You can pick whichever one you want. Once you download it, we can get started in setting it up. First, we need to install some game ROMs. You can either SSH into your iOS device or use a tool like iPhone Disk to transfer files over to your device. First, you need to put your ROMs in slash bar slash mobile slash media slash ROMs. Once you've transferred your ROMs over to your iOS device, you can launch SNES ADX and sync your Bluetooth Wiimote. To sync the Wiimote, press the Bluetooth Wiimote switch in the SNES ADX settings and then press the 1 and 2 buttons at the same time on the Wiimote. Make sure Bluetooth is off on your iOS device and your Wii is not trying to sync with this Wiimote or you may encounter some problems. When syncing is complete, the Wiimote will have a single blue solid light and SNES ADX will present a new button that tells you to click when syncing is done. It may not appear that syncing has completed, but when that button shows up, it definitely has. That's it. Now you can just select a game from your list and you're ready to play. If you're an Android user and want to play emulated console games on your Android device, you don't have to go through this elaborate setup. You can just download something like SNESoid for SNES games or NESoid for classic Nintendo games. Several other emulators are also available in the Android marketplace, so you can get your gaming on very easily without any hassle. You want something new to do with your friends, and board games are a great idea unless you spend $30 and find out that this game sucks. Take the games you already have in your closet, uh, spend a few dollars, and upgrade them in really cool ways with these projects. So why don't you play the board game Clue anymore? It's not like Clue isn't a fun game. I mean, you get to pretend like you're an early 20th century socialite, and your fellow socialites killed a dinner host, and the police have this terrible response time. But Clue's also kind of lame. I mean, you can keep anyone from winning just by accusing them of murder constantly and dragging their piece over. Enter the Board Game Remix Kit. It's basically a set of 25 new games that use your classic games, boards, and pieces. It's like having a team of over-caffeinated game designers go to town on your game closet. Our favorite is the Zombie Mansion Remix of Clue. Instead of slowly walking the halls and politely looking into a high-class murder, you and your friends are scrambling to escape or kill a constant stream of zombies, played here by calcium pills. So on your turn you might roll, walk into a room and find a wrench, pick it up, then use it to bash in a zombie's skull. Someone has to bring the rope back to the hall so you can all climb out a window, but they can't attack while they're carrying it. And whoever has the gun can shoot any zombie they see by rolling a 5 or a 6. The Board Game Remix Kit is about $5 in ebook or app form. It's well worth the investment. I mean, who doesn't want to invite their friends over to play Zombie Mansion? How can I tell if a steak is done without any special equipment? Thanks. Okay, so here is a quick tip for telling the doneness of a steak when you're out grilling in the upcoming months. Uh, if you touch your thumb to your index finger and sort of touch on the fleshy part of your thumb here, uh, with the index finger, that's about the consistency of a rare steak. Move it over to your middle finger and that's the consistency of medium rare. Your ring finger is more of a medium and your pinky finger is well done. Now it's time for our downloads of the day. All right, let's see what we have. First up, we have Comic Rack for Windows and Comic Book Lover for Mac. Both of these applications will help you read your comic books on your desktop digitally. Next, we have IOGRAPH, which is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And you can use this to get kind of a artistic representation of your trackpad activity. It's really neat to actually see what you've been doing for the past few hours on your trackpad, and it's pretty neat to look at too. Lastly, we have StumbleUpon, which is basically available for any platform, and that will help you find new sites that are interesting, which is a great thing to do on your day off. Thanks for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed your day off. Have a good one.